there's comedy for Christmas on BBC One. Can I introduce to you Britain's top agent, Basil and Bond? Yes, licensed to kill and drive a heavy goods vehicle. <laughs> what I want to know is, if Santa really exists, then how come he hasn't been on Wogan? <laughs> It's a book. Well done, Mr. B. I didn't think you'd get it that quickly. Yes, I must say, Blunder, that was damn clever. Yes, another great Christmas tradition, explaining the rules eight times to the thicky twins. <laughs> Three to watch this Christmas on one. Comedy for Christmas Day on BBC One from Bread. Those boisterous Boswells cross over to the continent to take in some Roman sites, courtesy of the DHSS. To think. The great master himself is there. What's his name again? Raphael. 1483 to 1520. How can they be sure it was him? When I went for Uncle George's ashes at the crematorium, they gave me someone else's. <laughs> Look at the craftsmanship. You don't get that anymore. Everything's pebble dash and breeze blocks. On the other hand, we don't throw people to the lions anymore, do we? No. We have marriage instead. <laughs> Go on, leave my daughter alone. Go on, I'll be back. Take a slice of bread. Christmas Day at 7.15 here on BBC One. A first-run feature film for Christmas on BBC One. Steven Spielberg's Back to the Future. Michael J. Fox embarks on a journey through time. You're telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? Get a grip on yourself. It's all a dream. Apparently your mother is amorously infatuated with you instead of your father. Isn't he a dreamboat? Next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future. Ah! That's this afternoon at ten past three. Family Entertainment on BBC One. In just over an hour, three teams from Australia, Great Britain and the USA compete in a special It's a Charity Knockout. Joining Mickey, Donald, Goofy and a throng of special celebrity guests at the Walt Disney World Resort Epcot Centre. Before that, it's time here on BBC One to spend this part of Christmas morning with Noel Edmonds. To you. Welcome to the heart of British television. Welcome to the Television Centre in London, to Studio 3, where we are live on this Christmas morning. I wish you a very happy Christmas indeed. Over the years, on this Christmas morning broadcast, we've established a number of firsts. We brought you the first live television pictures from the Falklands. We linked up live with the Sudan, a relief camp, a couple of years ago. Last year, we brought you the first ever live pictures from a British destroyer on patrol in the Gulf. I can promise you that in the next hour, we have a moment of broadcasting history. Well, at least I hope that we do, because <laughs> with a bit of luck, we are going to be linking up with the Mir space station. On board, there are three Russian cosmonauts. At this very moment, they are orbiting the Earth on this Christmas day. It has never, ever been done before, and we're hoping to bring you those pictures on this show in about 40 minutes' time. We've got a lot of other things going on. Shout around the house, get some relatives, get everybody in, because I promise you, it is going to be a sparkling package of entertainment. A lot of laughs, the odd little tear. We've got some of Auntie's best bloomers, you know, how much she likes seeing professionals making fools of themselves. Well, we've got those as well. And also, your golden opportunity to move on that unwanted Christmas gift. Maybe Dad doesn't like those yellow socks that you gave him. Or maybe you've got two pairs of those green braces. Well, we've got a phone number, 01811 Familiar number, that. We can't do Christmas dedications this morning, but we can do your Christmas swaps. 01811 That's the number. Surely you must remember Swap Shop. What, you were too young? Oh, come on. It was a long time ago, though. A very long time ago. Hello, Warren. Hello. Good morning. What can I do for you? I'm uh, that pad of crap, though. You're a swapper as well. Yeah. Right, you get a clean piece of paper on the licorice pad. Right, um, right, what are you offering? I'd like um, a Skymetric set, 300. Is that what you're offering? or? Yeah. That's what I'm offering. That's what you're offering. The Skylet's trick. 400, yes. 300. 
Sorry. 300. Yes, I've got that now. 300. And a uh, Mini and two BMWs. Sorry? Two Minis and a BMW. Two women and a BMW? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've had a marvellous morning. I hope you've enjoyed the Russian link as well. Have a super day. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Well, as you can see with the temperature map, it was quite mild over many parts of Europe as well. Still very cold today, though, in Poland and up in Scandinavia, where the temperature stayed below minus 10 in Helsinki all day. But over the next few days, this milder weather, as you can see, is going to continue to push its way eastwards. Much milder weather coming across Scandinavia and in a few days' time getting right across into western parts of Russia. Now, the reason for the mild weather, you can see on the weather map, we've got this great band of uh, mild southwesterly winds pushing right up across the country. One or two little weather fronts, which means cloud and rain, and you can see that one is struggling its way down across the country tomorrow, so some places turning out to be quite wet. As far as tonight's concerned, we've got this band of rain coming into Western Ireland now, into western part of Scotland, and that's going to creep further down into Scotland, into Ireland, uh, through the course of the night too. A lot of cloud further south with bits and pieces of rain around, but at least it's going to be a very mild night, no lower than about 7 degrees Celsius, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow then, perhaps a little bit of brightness right at the start in the far northern part of Scotland, but for most of us, a lot of cloud, uh, a fair amount of rain in southern parts of Scotland coming southwards into northern England by the end of the afternoon, perhaps down into the northern part of the Midlands, across into Wales. So quite a bit of rain through the day, northern parts of England, uh, across into Wales as well. Now, as the rain comes southwards, so it's going to very gradually brighten up, but I think there could be a fair number of showers eventually coming into northern Scotland. But yet another mild day, but becoming very windy in the north with some gales. Well, that's the way the weather looks at the moment. A very happy Christmas. The next forecast, 9.25 tomorrow morning with Bernard Davy. That's it from me. Very good night, dear. BBC One's Christmas films include a first chance to see Eddie Murphy bringing his unique style of humour to Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> gentleman who crashed through Victor Maitland's window, who disabled an unmarked unit with a banana. Is this the gentleman who ruined the buffet of the Harrow Club this morning? <laughs> Lieutenant, I'd like to see you in your office. Eddie Murphy wears out his welcome on the West Coast in Beverly Hills Cop on Boxing Day at 8.20. One of the famous first-run films for Christmas on One. Comedy for Christmas on BBC One from Russ Abbott. Says I, Heinz von Meatball, the finest flying psychiatrist in the world. Oh, you know your trouble, don't you? You're nuts. <laughs> Commander Bond, would you like to pull a caraca? Yes, I would. Go away. <laughs> the Russ Abbott Christmas Show on Christmas Day at 8.30 here on BBC One. and Linda have been happily married for 17 years. Or have they? I'm considering leaving George. Leaving him where? <laughs> Is George too dull? George, do something crazy! Unromantic. George? Is there any hope? It's no good, George. We'd only make the same mistakes all over again. No, we won't. We'll make different ones. <laughs> Lisa Goddard and Ray Cooney star in Life Begins at 40 this Wednesday at 9.30 on BBC One.